Lewis Hamilton's claimed his sixth title, IndyCar has a new owner, and Craig Breen is coming back for Rally Australia. This is On Track Recap, and these are the top stories from Autosport.com from the past week. A sixth title for Lewis Hamilton at the weekend has moved him into second place outright in the all-time list of F1 champions. One clear of Juan Manuel Fangio and behind only seven-time world champion Michael Schumacher. Now Lewis and MotoGP legend Valentino Rossi will swap the Mercedes Formula 1 car and Yamaha MotoGP bike on December the 9th at Valencia, Autosport has learnt. The idea has been in the works for several years, with Monster Energy, a major backer of both the Yamaha MotoGP team and Mercedes Formula 1 outfit, pushing to get Hamilton on a GP spec M1 and Rossi in Hamilton's F1 car. Formula 1's technical, financial and sporting regulations for the championship's 2021 overhaul have finally been approved. Chase Carey called the World Motorsport Council's unanimous approval a watershed moment, while Jean Tot, head of the FIA, described the regulations as a major change in how the pinnacle of motorsports will be run. The new technical regulations have been researched extensively by the FIA and F1 in a bid to create cars that are easier to follow and make them look more futuristic. F1's evaluation of weekend schedule changes and other competitive elements should also be clarified in the new sporting rules. Financial regulations will mark a new addition to the official FIA rulebook to implement an F1 first cost cap that will limit team spending to $175 million a year. A subsidiary of the Penske Corporation has purchased the IndyCar series and the Indianapolis Motor Speedway among other assets. The blockbuster purchase has been made by a Penske division named Penske Entertainment Corp, which means Penske's three-car IndyCar team will compete in a championship that's owned by its parent company. Penske Entertainment will assess options for bringing a more adventurous roster of events at Indianapolis Motor Speedway, including a possible IndyCar and NASCAR doubleheader, endurance racing and even the return of Formula One. Indonesian rider Afridza Munanda has died following injuries sustained in a crash at the Asia Talent Cup race on the support bill at MotoGP's Malaysian Grand Prix. On the opening lap at Turn 10, Munanda was involved with an incident with Japanese rider Shinji Ogu. The race was red flagged immediately while both riders received trackside medical assistance. Munanda was subsequently taken by air to the Kuala Lumpur hospital while Ogu was reported as conscious and taken by ambulance. Despite the best efforts of the medical team at the hospital, 20-year-old Mananda succumbed to his injuries. Mananda had enjoyed a strong campaign in the Asia Talent Cup in 2019, scoring two victories and four other podiums. Hyundai will take Craig Breen to Rally Australia in place of Andreas Mikkelsen for the final round of the 2019 World Rally Championship. The Australian round is key for Hyundai as it chases a maiden WRC manufacturer's title and the German-based team will arrive 18 points clear ahead of Toyota. The move raises questions over Mickelson's future as he is recently split with his management team and has no firm contract for next season. That's your on-track recap. The links to all these stories are down below. Don't forget as well that voting in the Autosport Awards is now open. The link's down there as well. And you can always get the latest news, analysis and opinion on autosport.com.